Take it. Simple. Uh, go to the field and then we'll go back to the main vault and talk to the rest. Yep, sounds like a good plan to me. So to the field we go! Just gotta head round and... Yep, the lacrosse club is meeting yet again. Which means we have to do Operation Dead End. Not working. Zoom in. Now, it doesn't work if they're wearing a skirt though. So you see the problem. <laughs> anyway. Hey Alyssa. You told everyone that you're a noble now, right? Yeah, I did. My case isn't too happy with that turn of events though. Do you regret it? Nah, not really. You would have found out eventually. I do want to make up with my case though. But that's just about the time I told everyone about my family too. Huh? I absolutely will not lose to Alyssa. She might be a quick learner, but that's nothing compared to years upon years of experience. Whatever. Hey. Alright, we're gonna be clocking some sprint time today. Alyssa, finish, you're up first. Why must I be paired against the likes of her? Well, you're both newcomers, right? Kinda yeah, obvious. Oh, and by the way, you better not so much as think about skipping out on cleaning duty today. You're really working them hard, huh? How you did. Emily will not hold back, regardless who she's dealing with. <laughs> Seeing it like this reminds me of when we first met. Okay. Alright, guess I'll go to the school building now. FYI, I have no idea what this shed is for. It just looks like a shed. Kinda stay away from it if you can help it. That's all I really got when it comes to sheds. <laughs> anyway, we shall pop into the main building and see everybody. Who's on the first floor? She is, apparently. Now, considering how we've accidentally been given the medals for stuff so far, I think we've got two or three, uh, she can't possibly give me another one, right? Oh, hey, Pig. I thought you'd be in, you know, here being lazy. What's up? Good day, Fee. Are you here for a nap? Yep. <laughs> That's fine by me. Go ahead and use one of the free beds. Let me go and get some tea and sweets for you, too. Great. They seem to get along really well. Oh well. Have fun, you two. Just gotta leave them to it. They do get on quite well, so. Should be fine. Anyone else down here? Nope. All on the second floor. I wanna pop in and see guys. I want to see how he works when he does art. I mean, like, that's really it. <laughs> I want to see him when he's doing his art. He's interested, to me at least. So, hey guys! I do want to piss her off though, but what's up? Oh, hello, Reed. Sorry, did I interrupt? Nah, it's alright. Plan is trusting me to. Yeah, 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 yeah. I wonder to see what he's like when he's drawing. Sure. Would it be okay if I stayed while I watched you draw a little? Fine by me. If you've got any good advice. Wow, that's quite an elaborate drawing. Compliments like that make me feel like I'm improving. But don't hold back if you have any criticisms to make too. Got it. Even though I think it looks pretty great already. You used to draw back home, right? Yeah, I taught myself by painting landscapes and... Well... Mostly landscapes. But Clara, the head of the club, wasn't too thrilled to hear that. How so? Going to her, I draw purely by feel, without even the most basic artistic techniques. She told me to take what I see and make it my own. So I've been doing rough sketches like this since last month. In fact, I just finished my hundred sketch. That's a lot. I don't know if I'd have the patience to sit down to do that many sketches. Isn't it kind of a pain? Not that bad. It helps like Clara's words resonated with me. That's what I'm doing with my time. In the Empire, after all. I'm taking what I see and making it my own. Now that seems like it might be a good time to ask. Where are you from? I suppose I never did mention that, did I? I'm from the North Highlands, to the north of the Empire. Hold on, wait. That's where the Emperor Dracula's raised his army. All this time, we were learning from... We were learning about Nord in class, and that's where you were from? Well, you know, I do plan on the rest of the class eventually. Now think of it, I don't know why guys came to Thor's in the first place. Hopefully I'll get the chance to ask him that sometime. Is something wrong? Nah, sorry, just spacing up. I'd really like to see your painting when it's done though. <laughs> if turns into a painting worth seeing, I'll be sure to show you. So you're, wait, what is a Nordish? Like, Nordish people, what is it? I should point out, you know my links on certain levels, or 
reasonably max levels right now. Um, when they level up, they unlock certain abilities in battle, like finishing moves and stuff. But uh, mine's just really high, so just gonna not level them then. Well, they can't level anymore, you know. Anyway, hiya. Julius was nearby, but I don't see him. Hey, Elliot. It turns out the Wind Orchestra puts in a yearly performance. Just thinking about it is making me excited. We've got a practical exam in midterms to do with before that, though. Ah, crap, I forgot about that. There's so much lined up, I feel like our time here will be over before we know it. Well, we can make the most of it. It's a uh, Wind Orchestra tradition to hold a concert every summer. If the new recruits keep getting better, I think this year's concert would be the best one ever. Well, I guess we'll have to practice enough to make sure that happens. Okay, see if you still have. Julius was around here. Oh, there he is. Hey, Julius. Not Julius, damn it! You sis. <laughs> need to get them unconfused, okay? You sis is blonde. Julius is blonde. Damn it! <laughs> you sis is in class 7. Julius is in God here. <laughs> totally different things. Are you planning on spending today running around the campus or more of the student council's errands? You're a strange one, to say the least. <laughs> you say that, but maybe you'd like to join me. I'm afraid I'll have to decline. At any rate, if, I, if being an errand boy is your thing, at least do it with the confidence befitting a noble. Will do. Bye, everybody. Mm, yeah. Fuck and tired of it. Eh. Yep, guess we have to go to the old schoolhouse now. I mean, I've seen everyone, I've done all the side quests, I think. Um, yep. I even wasn't a dud. So, yeah, let's go to the old schoolhouse and explore a little more. I wonder how I can bring this time. Because you can bring different people as you progress through the story, you see. So, you can use a different team every time if you feel like. Which I will. Maybe. Possibly. <laughs> we'll see. Depends on if I get suckered into my old ways again. Last time I used the same team for everything because they were so strong, but I don't know. I kind of want to try something new. We'll see. Anyway, into the old schoolhouse. I should just say before we do that. Saving before we do something stupid. Highly doubt the suicidal at this point, but it's still something stupid, so don't do it. Singing is part of the stupid things I shouldn't be doing, but whatever. And saving the data is done. Right, onwards. The front door is a lot. I've got the key, so I can start exploring whenever I'm ready. But there's no telling what I find in here, so I'd best finish all my other tasks. What's the rest of the I needed to do? After you finish exploring the old schoolhouse, the time of day will advance to the evening. As a result, all daytime bonding events and quests will expire. Yeah, I can use the key. Entering this place doesn't get any less scary, no matter how many times I do it. Time to try calling anyone I can count on to back me up. Future investigations of the old schoolhouse will require you to choose a four-member active party in addition to support members. So let's use... Well, we've only got a few we can use. <laughs> oh, there. Come on, try to put the same one twice. Right, there you go. See, because I'm not allowed to use the other two at the moment. It's been about a month already, huh? I'm still kind of scared, but... We can't just leave this place locked and pretend nothing weird's going on in here. Yeah, especially with the pr principal himself asking us to keep exploring it. We'll just have to take things nice and slow. And I'm counting on you guys for backup. Understood. I wish to do everything I can to assist in the name of Class 7. Even if more friends, or sorry, even if more fiends were to appear, I'd relish the chance to test my mettle against them. <laughs> I feel a lot safer with you around, Laura. I've heard the stories about this place, but quite honestly, I'm having a tough time believing them. The building that changes its layout all on its own seems, well, kind of impossible. I imagine the only way to truly believe it would be to see it with your own eyes. As soon as we step through that door, you'll be left with no option but to accept that this place is not as it seems. Yeah, I think you're in for quite a surprise. Come on, let's go. It's still eating as fuck, though. What the? This really is a completely different- I'm sorry, this really is completely different from the last time we were here. What's with that pedestal-like structure over there? I mean, we don't know either. I wasn't there last time, none of this was. Yeah, I don't remember that either. 
staircase leading down to the ruins is completely gone too. Strut decided that she say she was going to investigate the ruins in her spare time as well. But she didn't mention anything like this. Maybe someone sneaked inside and did this? Nah, it's too large a scale sorry, it's too large scale to change to have been done in such a short time. The most likely explanation seems to be that the ruins have changed their layout on their own again. You can't be serious. This truly is a fascinating place. Well, standing around isn't going to get us anywhere. Let's go and get a closer look at that pedestal. The fact that... Oh my, that this is called the elevator room. Just, it was a staircase earlier on. Let's just double check, nothing's changed. Um, uh -huh. well, nothing else has changed. Nope, nothing. Alright. What's this thing? Well, it's definitely a device of some sort. If I were to guess, I'd say it's something similar to an elevator you'd find in a bank shop. That's what it looks like anyway. An elevator, huh? I wonder if that means we can use this to go deeper on the ground. Hmm, it's worth a shot. Let's see. There we go. We can use this to descend to the floor, one floor down. There appear to be other floors beyond that too, but anything to... Access to anything lower is locked out. Which means the area we explored last month would be the first floor, I assume. I didn't realize these ruins went further down than that. Ah, oh, my head is starting to hurt. If the rest of the floors are locked, that seems to suggest someone is trying to stop us, or anyone, from getting to them. But who would do that? And why? I have no idea, but the proof is right here. All the other floors are off limits. There's no model number or data anywhere either. Which suggests this elevator was built at the same time as the building itself back in the Middle Ages. Hmm, you're surprisingly well informed on technology, Alyssa. It's not often that girls develop such an interest in machinery. Uh, I don't know that much. It's, uh, it's all just lower level stuff. Plenty of other people could tell you the same thing, I'm sure. So what do we gotta do? Do you wanna try using the elevator to go down to the second floor? Well, I think we should. Though we have no idea what we're gonna find down there, so we're gonna need to be very careful. Make sure you're well and true you're well and truly prepared for anything. Ah, we'll be fine. Second floor, uh, everybody off, I guess? Man, none of this was here last month, was it? It's kind of eerie. That door sure looks like the one we saw last time, though. And that means we can probably expect more monsters behind it. Excellent, I'm itching to test my skills against them. We should be careful in here. Monsters may end up being the least of our worries. True, but the four of us shouldn't have any problems making good use of combat links, at least. You ready to get started? Sure, let's head in. I probably said the five years, but I changed it to four. Mostly because your party is four, you see. Anyway. Resting! Dum, dum, dum. I love that jingle, it's so good. <laughs> it's such a nice little jingle. Now, anyway. Onwards and inwards. Gotta go deeper into this prestigious place. Onward! Just took the words out of my mouth! Um. Okay, that's blocked. So that's the warp thing in the bob. I'm looking for a chest, that's all I'll do. Chest there and nada else, so we'll have to go down and then back it. Right. Chest. I'm guessing everything's still scared of me, right? Yep, good. <laughs> Gotta make sure, right? Move. Move it. Now, uh, much like I said last time, when we were in here. These are essentially what I like to call training areas, because they are literally training areas. They're brilliant for experience and setup, for getting better co-ops and the like. So, yeah, if you're playing along with me, I strongly suggest training huh. it. There seems to be a treasure chest here. Just, seriously, you, you need to train. You should train. Actually, that's not true. You don't need to train if you want to be strategic and use all these wonderful bonus stuff and do it that way. But I'd suggest training as a backup, you know, just uh, just in case. Because you never know when something could go wrong and your plan could disintegrate instantaneously. Like might seem to. Huh? 
Is that a treasure chest? Winds, give us your blessing. Oh, with that. Here we go. Okay, let's go ahead and use uh, Gale. Oh, wait. I'm not allowed to use Gale. I have spoken. No. There. Go ahead. <laughs> I forgot to put the combat on top. Get away. That one. Alright. Then do. Oh. The sounding beat. And I, Keep like usual, everyone. forgot to put it on raid. Kind of Leave yeah, it to me. Good, right? Uh, Gale Stinger. This works. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, that works really well. And they're all pile up. It ain't going anywhere. Armor. Er. <laughs> Goodbye. Now, this is probably not available yet, but you usually get to kill everything with one crossing. And I missed one. Yeah, they're all pile up. My turn. I killed one. Back into the head. Ooh, I should point out, Green's uh, Quartz, when he attacks, if he kills the enemy with it, if he kills the enemy with it, then he gets CP back. Yeah, that works. It's all real. Go. Alright, got one of them. That one's paralyzed. It's my turn. Guys, kill him. Okay, still live. It's fine, they're all paralyzed. They're not going anywhere. Oh, I can do this. I can get rid of those two. There! Bye. I missed. Of course. Okay, kill this one. Huh? Right. And all that remains is this guy. <laughs> right, he's dead too. Is Drop everybody okay? That. Good job, people. Nicely done. Now, there's something I want to check. Uh, orb man, or Now, mine is level. Uh, five. What is yours? Two, five, five, four. Why is yours two? Huh? Weird. That is really weird. Why is yours only two? Everybody else's is like insane. Yours two. <laughs> oh wait, I never use guys that much. Everyone else I use like, hmm. Yeah, I use them training and stuff. But guys never really need to do any training. That, that's really what it was. I think that was it. Something along his line. It was just a case because I noticed one of the levels wasn't as high as everybody else. Now, I think we should go down here. Alright, I'm looking for... Stop the smash! Break it! Let's go so good to break stuff. I know it's so um, unnecessary and a bit mean, but breaking stuff more fun. <laughs> Move enemy! Almost walked into it. On the way, anyway. Shoo, shoo, move faster. Thank you. Now, does this connect to that? Yeah. Which means I should put it my way. Breakable stuff. What? <laughs> break things. Ooh. Mostly because you get items for it. And it feels good to break stuff. Childish, maybe. Um, Alright, down here is where we're to go. I believe, yeah, the war's gone, see? Wait. Wait a second. That's a big circle. Um, which way do we go? Um, okay, right, we don't go this way. Move. <laughs> Doesn't help, I just made him see here. Um, so that's the entrance, right? So we came in here, went that way first. And... <laughs> <breaking stuff. laughs> uh, is it this way? Or? No. No, that's enough, because that's the switch up there. So, uh, uh, <laughs> okay, we'll go back the way we just came. So, back up the stairs. Now we pulled that lever. And, oh, I missed. Okay, that fixes the problem. I was wondering how I was going in circles. So, eh? But no, right. So now we just gotta go through the lovely door we just made. Yep, right. Looking for the lever. The lever is above us, right? Oh, that's not the way. 
Um, yeah, there is, because levels above the new opening. So, yep, that makes sense. Through here, and into the depths we go. All about logical <laughs> thinking. We appear to have reached the exit. And dump. It's all about thinking things through and, you know, not being stupid and suicidal. So we shall now save. Now, this place I'm telling you is great to train in if you're not me. <laughs> Seriously, because it's a it's good experience. Now, of course, I don't get any. But the fact that I get some when I'm as high a level as I am kind of goes to show my, proves my point, you see. Anyway. Onward. This will take everything we have. Oh, that is what I thought. Go. Okay, do this. Give it up, everyone! I don't know it's a bit pointless, but it's always good to have more fun. Here we go! Ah, there. Oh, I'm leaf cutter. Can I hit on the one? No, I can't. I right, fight. Oh, wait, like. There we go. It was black and red, so it's like useless. Go ahead. Yeah, this worked. Gaius, you help out. Leave it to me. You get that one. There! Yep. My border. We right. can get the one in the middle. Huh? Nicely no. done. Right, go ahead. Go. Of course, that was that one. Shit. Yes. Yes. See, if you notice, they're all aiming further away from them. Go. So that way, if that, they miss, like they just did, then I can't Leave counter them because I don't do it. There. I have close right. I don't know what he probably could have done earlier. To, to get this one. Yeah. Right, so I get that one. Get through her. Uh, breathe, Here we go. go. Now, Gaius has you to watch right now. It's my turn. Oh, any, uh, I've only got the effort. Well, go. Take this. I mean, no cast is damage good. It's just no damage. <laughs> uh, now we'll finish this one. Now, Lorda also has you to watch. Of course. And likewise, has the same problem. He only has one arm. Not bad, but not good. Now he's confused. That might be a problem. Okay, now if he's confused, we have to be careful. We need to kill stuff before anyone else gets confused too. Stand down. All that. That works. Nice, Lana. Said no, you could do that, right? Go, cool, guys. What I've just done is put guys next to the computer guy. It's bad. Uh, okay, war off. Oh, kill it. Ooh, it's almost dead. Go. Right, we can finish it. Do your job. Now, Elliot's back to normal. So, therefore, no longer has to worry about any sleeping. To be honest, I'm glad it was Elliot that got it, not any of them. Because any of them attacking Elliot would kill him instantly. Right. Kill it. I say it's only would do massive damage to him. Because he's not exactly a Well he's not a tank, he's a mean, so he's a bit squeaky. Alright guys. Alright. Right, Actually done. Right. We need to stop him from getting the curse. That worked. Well done, Laura. Chopped his head. You still have a lot of training to do. But, uh, yeah, because guys are two. What else is fine? <laughs> Fuck, I had Alyssa too, I forgot about her. Oops. <laughs> that one sure put up a fight. Indeed, I suspect it's considered this, it considered this entire floor to be its domain. Still, it was nothing we couldn't handle. Perhaps that means the floor is ours now. <laughs> yeah, we seem to have finally gotten the hang of combat links and everything. But it doesn't look like there's anything left to find here. The path does appear to be a dead end with this room. Doesn't even seem to be any valuables in here for that thing to have been guarding. Yeah. What's wrong? You look like you're lost in thought. Did you send something? No, I was just thinking about last month. It's exactly the same as what happened there. 
and the radio opens up, we reach the end of it, we fight a powerful enemy, and then they hit the dead end. The situation is identical. How do you mention it? Hmm, that is suspicious. Every path has to reach its end somewhere. It's probably nothing more than a coincidence. You might be right, it just strikes me as odd, that's all. Either way, we've explored our camp for now. So come on, let's go back inside. Yay! Nice, level 4. See, now he can do art support to get Avengers. Art support's good because he helps our cast arts faster. And, ooh, very nice. And, yep, art support. Protective wall? What's that do? I have honestly no idea. Protective wall sounds cool. Now then, we could rest, but it makes no difference. So let's just walk. It's not that it makes no difference, it's that we'll, when we rest tonight, we'll be fine. It's a idea. You could rest if you're planning to come back, like, go back to where you came and kill everything and set again to trade some more. But, ah, we'll just warp. Okay, let's just leave. Back the way we came, I suppose. Mm, return to the surface. This place is really friggin' mysterious, though. So much unknowns. So little we do know. Okay, I guess we'll head back. It's still weird that the stairs now became an elevator though. I hit R2 because I was moving. <laughs> I was moving around in my seat and I hit R2 on the remote. Because I put... Yeah. That was way more exhausting than I expected. Yeah, the monsters down there are a lot stronger than the ones we fought last month. The elevator is the biggest conundrum though. Where could it possibly have come from? We should report our findings to the principal right away. It's Dr. Sada too. Yes, that seems to be the wisest choice. So this month, there's suddenly an elevator allowing access to a floor even deeper below the surface. Honestly, how many more surprises does that old school house hold? There was nothing like that during my inspection last week, I could say that much. Why can't I be the one who finds all the cool stuff? There seems to be a number of floors even deeper underground too. But only the first two were accessible. That's another mystery. I tried to find some means of unlocking the elevator so we could access the other floors, but it wouldn't budge. That's not the e end of it, I wonder how far down it goes. In the decades I've been here at this academy, this is the first I've heard of any additional floors whatsoever. Up until last month, the floor we used for your orienteering exercise was all we'd ever known. So what we explored today wasn't, or didn't even exist until this week? An easy access to this new area presented itself in the form of a convenient elevator, no less. I'd heard that many of the ruins from the Dark Ages were fraught with mysteries, but this is almost inconceivable. Well, something must have caused the new areas to show themselves, and I don't have the slightest idea what that something could be. You wouldn't happen to have any ideas, would you, sir? Hmm, let me think. Perhaps it may have something to do with Emperor Dracula. Dracula's the Lionheart? The very same. Emperor Dracula's left strict orders regarding that building, which have been passed down from principal to principal ever since. He proclaimed that the old schoolhouse was to be preserved until it's as is until the promised day arrives. The promised day? What does that mean? That I couldn't say. Though somehow speculated it dives back to the World War of the Lions 250 years ago, after Dracula's companion, the brave Sir Saint Sandlot. Saint Leon Sandlot? The Lance Maiden. If Emperor Dracula's words did contain did concern the War of the Lions, it does stand to reason that she'd be connected. Her she and Emperor she and her Ernrit or sorry. <clears throat> she and her Eisenritter fought violently at his side throughout the conflict. Valiantly enough to be regarded as a saint by the Septian Church, I imagine few in Erebonia don't at least know the name. Her name is celebrated even in my hometown, and I'm about as far out, as the em out of the Empire as you can get. This 
no shortage of legends and mysteries surrounding her life, and her death for that matter. But now, how in the world would she be connected to the old schoolhouse? Well, I'm not certain she is. But when I think of the alterations that have begun to occur inside the building, and of Dracula's words, I find it difficult to believe that there's no connection, it just strikes me as more than mere coincidence. I guess that's as good a theory as any. But what does the promised day refer to? Well, with so little information, we could speculate all night, and I doubt we'd get any closer to a legitimate answer. We'll just have to keep searching the ruins to see what we find. You performed admirably, Class 7. I truly appreciate all your efforts, and I'm terribly sorry for keeping you all here for so long. Nah, uh, not at all. I'm just happy we could be of help. If we discover anything else, we'll let you know at once, sir. Excellent. Feel free to prioritize other tasks as you feel fit. As you see fit. However, you're not my personal assistant, sir. Thanks for the help, everyone. <laughs> Think nothing of it. Honestly, I want to solve the mysteries of that place as much as you do at this point. I feel the same, and fighting the monsters within serves as excellent training. I would be more than happy to accompany you again, should the opportunity arise. Yeah, it's not right for you to have to do all the hard work, Reed. That goes for all the other requests you do in your free days, too. Might have just a call away if you ever need it. Thanks, I'm sure to take you up on that. I'll see you back at the dormitory. Take care.